Charaka, the Threads of Life, a weaving community for women, works to save the natural dyeing art of hand looming and weaving in turn empowering rural women. It is a women's multipurpose industrial cooperative society situated at Bhiman Kone village, Saga Taluk, Shivmogga district on the western ghats of southern India. Science Club of Kumaduti College of Education have come out with a field trip to Charaka in order to understand the weaving process and eagerness of spending beautiful time in scenic beauty of Shramajeevi Ashram and the Amits of Greenery. Mrs. Bhagirathi, the manager of Charaka, led us and gave a beautiful explained tour of the place. The actual day of the workers began with a prayer at the prayer hall we saw earlier. After the prayer, the first step in the cloth manufacturing process, that is processing and spinning of cotton into yarn, is not done at Charaka. This is the only part which happens outside the Charaka unit. The raw thread arrives into the Charaka unit. The raw thread is washed four to five times thoroughly by manual process by using mounted steel rods to sink the threads. This process needs men employees who enjoy the work. Jiraka has been producing naturally dyed handloom fabrics. The advantage of being in the Western Ghats region is the availability of resources that can be used to extract dyes. Arika nut is the main commercial crop that is grown extensively here. The byproducts of the Arika nut are used to obtain beautiful shades of natural dyes along with pomegranate, jackwood, madder root are also used to manufacture natural dyes of different shades of yellow and red. After the dyeing process, a batch of ladies are working on large wooden wheels that spin the yarn on a bobbin. These bobbins would later be used for the weaving process. These huge rolls are then placed on the handloom to start weaving the breadth of the fabric. The human effort involved in moving the guider from left to right by pulling a string by one hand and stepping on a wooden stepper at the same time in rhythmic way needs more skills. Charaka employs around more than 150 people in the weaving unit involved in the different process like wrapping, winding and weaving on the frame looms. There are about 53 hand looms of 2 pedals and 4 pedals. Nearly about 14,000 meters of fabric is produced every month, out of which 6,000 meters is produced in and around Charaka itself.
After manufacturing the fabric, it undergoes 4 to 5 times washing in order to avoid losing of color. After thorough washing, the fabric is subjected to a drying process. Many value addition techniques are used to increase the range of products at Charaka. Wooden block printing with pigment dyes is one of them. New wooden blocks have been specially designed for Charaka that are mainly used for women's and kids wear. A wide variety of cotton fabrics in planes, stripes and checks are woven in different dimensions. After printing process, the printed fabrics are sent to the storeroom, where all the fabrics are systematically arranged for later use. Later it is sent to the garment production unit. Charaka also grabbed the attraction of foreign visitors. Charaka Society also made provision for residents to the visitors to stay in ashram in typical traditional way of simple life with minimum basic amenities to enjoy scenic beauty of Malinadu by providing minimum amenities to lead a peaceful life. In this unit, there is a provision for conservation of water. Used water from the various process like washing, dyeing and many more is reutilized by purifying naturally by using sand and charcoal. And the same water is used for the purpose of watering the plants. No single drop of water in Charaka is wasted. After drying the fabric thoroughly, it is sent to the garment section for stitching, where it undergoes ironing process to make the cloth stiff. Then sent to the cutting section for customizing the fabric into desired designs of dresses for children, gents and women of different sizes. After quality checking of the garments, they are sent to ironing section followed by package and marketing.
The waste cloth left after fabric manufacturing is used to prepare vibrant multicolored quilts of various sizes with beautiful patterns and designs. These quilts have great demand in summer. In the marketing outlet, the garments are displayed for customers for purchase. There are many outlets in and around Sagara Talo. Charaka is one such rural-based women multipurpose cooperative society and it is the backbone for several families to lead a happy life. 